All right, guys, now we're going to be installing the parts on the computer. Due to the heat generated from the lamps we've been using, we switched to this fluorescent bulb, which is much cooler. We're going to start here with the motherboard. You can see I've already taken it out of its box. Come on. We've got a camera in the case to provide a case angle on this entire procedure. It is always important, remember, always keep your hand on the case. This is a really, really small motherboard. Like literally, I didn't know that uh, this UATX would be so much smaller than, the, uh, sorry, the micro ATX would be so much smaller than the UATX. But the point is, it's got proper slots for the screws. And that is what matters. <laughs> Seems like I'm going to have leftover screws. Because of how many more screws the other one needed. Actually, just one more screw the other one needed. Oh, God damn it. Where's another screwdriver? Screwdriver is probably the most important tool you'll ever be using in building a computer. Bloody hell. This last screw doesn't want to go in. Okay, now that that's in, we can take this part off of the CPU thing. This is basically just a cover Oh, wow. <laughs> All right, guys, now we're going to be installing the processor into the motherboard now that it's in there. Celeron dual core processor. Socket LGA775. Handle with extreme care. We're designing this computer, of course, for just home office use. Uh, Find out where it lines up. You, have to you always have to meticulously inspect it to find out where it lines up. Uh, this is actually, I've installed processors in the past. The LGA775, if you look at the side, there's two notches. Uh -huh. Those line up with notches in the socket. Point out the two notches. Uh, I do not see two notches. Oh, now I see two notches. Yeah, and it lines up. Or you can use that. Hmm. It is in place, and then it just closes up. Should I be pressing that hard? Okay, 
That's the, in. So the socket has been in, and now the processor has been installed. Next we're going to be installing the heat sink onto the processor. The LGA775 heat sink, all you do is you place it and you push the four pins into the motherboard. They, they just push in. Just like that. And you do that with all four. If the pins do not push in, sometimes you may need to rotate it a small amount in order to uh, keep it from catching on the fan itself. Let's take these ones back out. That's why I'm having difficulty putting in the other side. Let's try putting in the other side go first. Go by corners. Instead of going by side, go by corners. Doesn't look into me. All right, guys. Now that we sorted out the uh, little issue I was having with the CPU fan, this is the first time I've been working with an LGA seven seven five computer. I was unaccustomed to the installation of the processor fan. Now we're going to plug the processor fan into the motherboard. Cable management is always a valuable asset, as I told Kiros when I taught him how to build one of these. And now the CPU should be in. System fan, I'll ignore that for now. Um, the CPU fan came with pre-applied thermal paste. Um, if you buy an aftermarket cooler, however, you may have to install your own thermal paste or apply, sorry, your own thermal paste. Uh, we won't be going over that today. Um, this is also, also my first time installing a SATA drive. So we're going to be installing the DVD drive now. Easy, you just push it in. Where did I put the screws for that? All right, here we are. Always bear in mind on where you kept your screws. They are very valuable little thing. Alright, that's the DVD drive in. We won't be plugging things in until we've got all the components installed yet though. Except for this stuff from the front of the case. Power switch, hard drive LED, and power LED. Because these are the most annoying things to install, we are going to be installing them. Whoa, now. That came for cable management. It is now being removed because it's a cumbersome annoyance. Now, you gotta always look at the main board as to where these things go. Hard disk drive LED, power switch, AKA on off. Goes in there, power LED. Hard drive LED. Thankfully this one was color coded. If they're not color coded, it makes it that much more of a pain. All right. Now we're going to be installing the hard drive enclosure again. 